Hey guys, I'm Slick77 the Desert Creeper, and welcome to Infinite Heights Season 3. <laughs> I got a little booger here. Bunch of slimes every once in a while will spawn at the base. And uh, as I was killing him, Kissy caught one, named him Booger, and captured it. I've had him for a while. I don't know what to do with him. Like, I wanted to put him in a special place because, you know, just having this fence here, despite the fact it matches, like, color and such, it's not symmetrical with everything else, and that bothers me. But until I figure out something, I'm just going to leave them right here in the valuable section. Because, you know, I do have a bunch of named stuff. And since he is named, there is where he shall be kept. I could go. Oh, crap. I forgot to start a nickname. The Scoobries. Anyhow, I have quite... A few things to show you to talk about and some and I uh, <clears throat> I want to get you guys opinion on something too which I'm not going to build until I uh, see maybe a comment or two um, so let me get some music started as no per normal I'm going to my rusted media playlist um, I haven't really put out any music that I particularly like or that I particularly will think would be good in a video although they have put out a one-hour mix which is I didn't look into it yet, but when I start playing a like, game of league, I'll play it randomly. Today, however, we have one called Trick of the Tale by Memro. Haven't heard this song in a while. It's a good song. So, today, you might notice that Kissy's banner is gone. And that's because I have moved her banner somewhere. Oh, yes, I put torches up there. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I put her banner over here. So this is how I'm going to be doing banners. I'm going to be going around the supports with as many as I can collect. I'm not going to be making my own banner because <clears throat> I don't particularly like making them, but I will collect them because I'm a hoarder. So I got the Scoobaries, I got Kissa, and I got... It's not Firestar anymore, it's Night something. It's going to take me forever to remember that no name. It's Night something. Got three banners. I'm on my way to having a full. <laughs> it's gonna be wild, but I'm almost there. I'm almost full of my banners. Um, that redstone torch. Let me check that. Every day I come over here to look at this redstone torch. Okay, it's not moved in anymore. It's still in that same position. Okay. Um, been doing a lot of digging, and since I've been getting so much stone, and this is near completion, I have to think about. Oh my god, I have to think about what I'm going to be building next. So I've been collecting a lot of stone to the point or it's like a hidden double chest full. And then, of course, I have another full double chest full of regular stone. The reason why they're hidden is because it would not be symmetrical if you could see it just standing out in the open. And although I might like to build a stone brick, it is still not my favorite block. But it just matches with everything. Um, I was doing some tests with uh, random blocks for an idea, and I decided to try putting a prismarine block amongst the bricks, and it looks really cool. I really like it. I think it does add a lot to it. I thought I saw something. I don't know. Now for, you know, for a Sunday, it's oddly quiet. Here, normally those bars are a lot bigger, and there's three of them for the server. Sorry, Waffle. Hey, oh, sh I knew he. W I know he would have killed me. Okay, generator. I feel bad for Trex. I uh, asked Trex to take his take his down, but since he spent so long making that generator, I let him keep all the materials he used to make it. Aside from you know the beacon itself. I think it was just like a bunch of redstone, lava, glass, gold, iron. Anything I can easily get more of, so it's no big deal. 
<clears throat> meanwhile, mean while, mean how, Firestar or Knight something. Oh, that train. I asked him to make this train raider. I did not mean right away, but he instantly logged off the server to come build this thing. In uh, like in, in free mode, then came back on and built it. <clears throat> I'm not sure he used all these are all my materials aside from a couple things. I'm not sure what he went to get it on his own. But it completely matches the rest of the style of the build. Aside for the glass, the blue tinted glass in there, which is good. The generator needs its own style. Which clearly, since I didn't build it, it's not my style of generator. It's different, but the same, and I love it. I also got some torches in here. So, but they're kind of hidden. So, let's say if you walk past and you're in Moody, like I know, especially the Duke plays in Moody all the time, <clears throat> you can see some light at the bottom, but you won't see the torches. As much as you try to, you won't see those torches. So, the generator's got a little bit of a glow to it. I might <clears throat> put a light in there, I just thought, <clears throat> to give the inside a glow. This isn't exactly how Firestar built it. How he built it was there was less panes in there, and there was one pane right in the middle of the beacon turning it blue. I took it out because... Regardless of what the beacon color is going to be, it's going to change again when to get up to the farm. So, I just, <clears throat> and also, since I'm making something in the back room, I had no idea what to put back here. I know I wanted something, so I have an idea. Every generator gets overheated, right? I mean, it's either cooled down by oil, by water, it's cooled down by something. So, I have a water basin pumping to the generator to keep it cool. So, I took out the paint, added the water, and because the paint added more color to it, and I took it out, I put some more paints in there to give it more of a bluish color to it. And I just kind of built the room around what he built. He could have made it taller, but he didn't. Um, but that also made things easier for me. Easier, sim more simple design. So I wanted to get Prismarine in here somehow, which obviously I did. Whoa, that looks different. Why does it look so different? Oh no! Thank God I saw that. Hold on, let me get some Prismarine. I was going to go for a dome style. Where's all my Prismarine? Oh, I flew completely the wrong direction. I was going to go for a dome style uh, roof too the the generator but it turned out not being that not really for any specific reason it's just I tried to get some cool light tricks in here like a like um <clears throat> a light glitch with the glowstone which you're not really ever gonna see let me get rid of those torches is there only one torch yeah so you're not really going to notice or the bat I don't think well, the glow is there. It's not really powerful, but it is there. They must have fixed the glitch a little bit and made it less obvious. <clears throat> and, um, his generator pretty much stopped about right here. But because I need water pumping to it, I added the pillar going straight up, which the water is coming down, and that lets the beacon go outside, which it needs to do for that beacon. And just kind of gently sloped the roof with half slabs, uh, making its way to it. Not much detail, just a bunch of stone bricks, prismarine, and um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I said this before, but yeah, I did change that. It was uh, andesite, but I changed it before his he built this here to kind of like match the rest of this room. Andesite kind of made it match the rest of the building in its grayest tones, but I wanted this room to look different, so that's why there's so much <clears throat> gray everywhere. Um, so, back in this room, I was actually building this when Firestar came over to build this generator, so I had this wall closed off, and I had the doors sealed, and I had this closed off, so he come back here and look at what I was doing until just now. And... Yeah, it's just half slabs. 
This place took a, <clears throat> well, not this section completely, but this place took a while to clear out all four sections, especially. Even got the doors completed. Oh, I don't have them all fill out, but uh, just half slap from front of the iron doors, block to indicate where the door is. Walk through. It's kind of like its own cleaning station. You're dirty when you walk into the gen, when you're about to walk in. You come in here, get sprayed with whatever, then you walk to the door, and you're clean. You're able to tinker with the water, with the generator, whatever you need to do. Just don't get any grime in it. <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do with the walls. I kind of want to... It's underground. There's going to be caves, right? So, I want to find a way to integrate seeing the um, this cave here. Well, not in this side, but on this side. And I don't know what I want to do with the walls. It's probably not going to be logs. I didn't realize I needed to clean that out. Um, this is not a full block. These are just half, half uh, stair. This is going to be gray glass. It's not covered right now, so I can just fly through and stay using the doors all the time. And this is pretty much going to be like a huge empty room only meant for tinkering with the generator and water supply as need be. So there's not going to be any more rooms added to this. This is where the entire storeroom stops. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the hardest part I'm having is figuring out how I want the water tank to look. I've got the depth. This is probably not the best one to look for you. I was tinkering out the floor, some different blocks. Um, the prismarine blocks were not there. First, I used blue stained clay, but I did not like it. It was far too purple. But I kept it there for a while, just trying to get the style. Here's a better one. So here's how deep and how tall it's going to be, how wide and whatnot. And I had redstone torches. I completely forgot about... Oh man, that breaks easily. I completely forgot about the lanterns at one point. These holes is where the water is entering from subterranean water supplies or from the river, from the ocean. Oh, th this is the water tank. Look how far away that is. You never, the water tank's not gonna pop up below ground, so you're never gonna see anything like that. And that's the Billcraft world. Hmm. Let me drink some coffee. Something's stuck in my throat. I don't know what that is. It kind of bothering me. Um, oh, here's a completed section for the doorway. Just log. Very thin room. Um, so, here's what I'm thinking. This is pretty much how the glass is going to look. I'm going to have a block... Oh, you know what? I have one better place to show you than that. And I use the door. Why did I use the door? Aha, here we go. You're going to be able to see the block. But there's going to be a block with a matched glass, not pane, glass block. And then the floor. I don't know how I want to do the floor, but there's going to be some type of style to it. Um, same, and the floor's gonna look exactly like the ceiling, same style. And I want, you can't see these lights, all you can, oh, well, I can't put on moody, but you can't see these lights, and so you're not gonna see any specific style for the lights, but I want to style this wall and the lights in a fashion, and same thing right here, and they connect, kind of like an awkward support or some such. And uh, this room's just going to be completely filled with water. I went in single player the other day to see what a light behind stairs would look like with water flowing in front. To my disappointment, you couldn't tell. All it just looked like in, is an air space between all the blocks, which just was not good at all. Um... I know I'm going to be removing that. That's, it has to be there. Oh my god. That bothers me that it's not there. So we have eight entrance points of water. Nothing from above for entry. Oh no. There's going to have to be like a cut square so the water can fly over to the beacon. And now, the reason why I haven't been working on this is because I do kind of want to... 
build with you guys to see, um, because I haven't done it in a while, so you guys know what type of steps I go through to building, because I have a hard time talking about it, you just, just see it, and, um, I want to know your opinions about what blocks I should use. Clay, with Kissy's idea, I had two blocks to use, Prismarine Brick and regular Prismarine, and then I have two more to think of, one is Clay, I forget what the other one is. Clay is a great idea because it matches up with the light blue panes incredibly easily. And it's not like an overly adventurous color like the blue stain clay was with how purple it looked and how deep in hue it was. This is blue, but it just matches the gray stone really nicely. And if I were to put logs next to it somewhere, it would just pop out even more, but yet still wouldn't overbear the situation with color. Hmm. Um, so here's four options uncooked cave clay block with light blue panes <clears throat> and yes when I was doing these I screwed down the panes uh, not panes blocks I screwed down the black uh, the stone the color blocks a lot then we have packed ice with light blue stained glass Right above here is the ocean. It is deep. That's why there's so much cobble and it's not finished. That's going to be a bear. But yes, packed ice, light blue stained glass. Next one is you've seen this prismarine brick with cyan stained glass. A little bit of a darker glass. The, the prismarine brick stands out completely with all the different colors, but yet. Because it is the color scheme out here, out here, <laughs> that it is not completely different. And since the water tank is pretty much its own entity in this entire room, it does stand out better. Like it's its own thing. Uh, the only problem is that with Prismarine, there's no bricks really to put back there to mold or some such. And this is this floor I had thought about and I'm not liking it. It is going to be changed. And the last one I know you've ever seen, it is the regular Prismarine with the dark, with the regular green stained glass. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I use green stained glass over here and not over there is because green actually completely st stood out from the brick compared to uh, cyan, where cyan completely stood out from the prismarine block compared to green. And I I really like I like all four of them. But I really like the prismarine with the green stained glass or the clay with the light blue stained glass. And that is because I really like the color combination. First of all, the green stained glass is something I don't really use, and it is incredibly nice. Completely different from this build. Not in color, but just see-through green is like completely different from the rest. Prismarine completely stands out in color and pattern from the rest of the blocks around here. Aside from those, because the everything here is organized. Aside from the prismarine block, it's random. It's, uh messy like cobble and gr unpolished granite and the clay which I think is just right next door is messy but in a lighter tone so if you're walking past here like even right here the farthest spot away you're gonna get you're gonna notice that it is a random pattern like sand it is messy from the organized mess around it it is a lighter scheme so it does not like pull your attention too far away from all the blocks or whatever design I put in there. The glass is a light color, so it'll look really good with the water. And it'll it just it'll look good. Um the only thing I have about this green glass is that I'm not sure if it will I didn't test it. I'm not sure how well the you could see through the water to the back room with the lights. That's something I need to do in single player world. But yes, like I said, th those two are my favorite. 
even though I do like all four, I can't make up my mind about what I want to do. Um, I do have to build three generators and style these three rooms, so I won't be completely bored waiting for like a couple comments or whatnot. And if none arise, I'll just pick whatever I want and such. So I have big things to think about. Oh, we're almost done here. I've got somewhat of an idea of what I want. That idea is building for a different build that I want. And what I'm going to do, I'll tell you right now, is I'm going to build the enchant enchantment room somewhere else. I'm going to tear down the blocks that I've already built in the other spot, roll everything I did back so the area is not destroyed looking, and then build it in a swamp. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the entire idea of that enchantment room was for like a hidden enchantment sanctuary in the desert, which turned out not to work because my idea was too big. However, if it extends out in a swamp, it'll look like natural. It should just naturally be built there. So that's what's going to happen. So. <clears throat> what you thinking, bugger? So I'm going to let you guys go. And I will see you guys next episode.